and you've already voted, your job is to make sure everybody in your circle turns out and votes tomorrow because the issues are too urgent, the stakes are too high, and the differences between me and Herschel Walker are too wide for us to sleep through tomorrow. We have to win this election and win the future for all of our children. Are you ready to win this election? And you listen to our president say that, you know, the biggest threat to democracy is voting for a Republican. No, the biggest threat to democracy is keep him in the White House. That's the biggest threat to democracy right there. The biggest threat to democracy is to have Senator Warnock voted for the four times against the Keystone Pipeline. Now we're going to our enemies and ask for energy. They don't know the definition of an enemy either, do they? That means that those people don't like you. We need, in other words, my friends, to stop talking and start doing, and that's exactly what I promise to do as your next United States Senator. Let's solve the problems, let's break up the tech companies, let's go to war against the cartels, and let's make this country great again. And the question really is, are we going to give them a future uh, that we could be proud of, that a culture where they can have honest disagreements about really big and complicated things? Or are we going to have and give them a culture where they have to feel like they have to hate each other? And that's the thing. We've really been fighting this woke agenda across the board in the state of Florida. We fight the woke in corporate America. We fight the woke in, in schools. And we fight the woke in the halls of the legislature in Tallahassee. We in Florida will never, ever surrender to the woke mob. It has been incredible to be the governor of this great state, even on the hardest days when they make all their threats and they try to hurt me and they say terrible things. I am really grateful to be here because I know our work saved thousands of lives in a pandemic. I know. I know. We need a governor who delivered the biggest investment in public education versus someone who's going to work for Betsy DeVos, right? We need a governor who's going to fight for our reproductive rights, not give them away. If anyone's trying to understand in advance why Kathy Hochul is going to lose this race tomorrow, you can look no further if you need to just look at one thing, is that New Yorkers are not monolithic. With this election, these deniers, there's only two outcomes in their view of election. One, either they win or they were cheated. One of the two, that's their view. But let me tell you something. You can't only love your country when you win. This is the year we're going to take back the House. We're going to take back the Senate. And we're going to take back America. And in 2024, most importantly, we are going to take back our magnificent White House. Yeah.